This video is to all people who live in addiction. People who abuse alcohol or people who are using drugs. I want you to notice uh, I have the solution for you to be free from your problems. Today many of you, you go to NA or AA uh, to, and do all these steps to, to be free from your addictions. I want to tell you that I know the one and only step you need to take to be free and that is to go to God. God wants to help you and set you free from your addictions. But of course you need to know who, who God is. Is Allah the one and true God? No, he is not. He is a moon God. The true God is Jesus Christ. And he can set you free from your addiction. You can read that in John 8.36. Who the son sets free, he will be free indeed. I was living in addiction for years. I did drugs all the, every day. But when I, I took this problem in front of the feet of Jesus Christ and asked him to set me free, he took away the problem for me. And he can do it for you too. Jesus waits for you. Like it says in Isaiah 43, 11 to 12. I, even I, am the Lord. And besides me there is no Savior. I have declared and saved, I have proclaimed. And there was no foreign God among you. Therefore you are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. So if you go to the one and true God, Jesus Christ, and ask him to please help me from this uh, devilish uh, problem with, with this addiction who will help you because let me tell you my friends if you're using drugs mind altering drugs I mean you will go to hell because that's open up doors for demons mind altering drugs is drugs like uh, for example amphetamine it's uh, cocaine uh, heroin you know drugs where 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 you uh, get euphoria, where you feel something you should not feel, where you feel very good. And uh, it, drugs like LSD, when, when you see things you should not see, that's also in the category of mind-altering drugs. Those drugs leading to hellfire. I don't mean drugs, uh, for example, if you have a bad heart, you need to take a couple of pills because of your heart sh uh, should stay healthy. Or, or if you have diabetes, you maybe need to take insulin. That's another level. Those drugs are, are okay to take. But, but drugs like uh, those mind-altering drugs, where you feel things you should not feel, where you get high, those leading to hell, it opens up doors for Satan and his demons. They just go right into you if you take those things. It can be exceptions, for example, if you have uh, uh, cancer, if you have very, very much pain. I, I totally believe that it's okay to take morphine for the pain if you take it like you should, you should take it. Uh, but if you, if you are not sick, if you have no pain, and take, take a morphine to, to get high from it, that leading to hellfire. So think about this. I, I know that uh, addiction is very hard to get, go, go out from, uh, to stop. But, but Jesus can set you free. And uh, he can heal you. Like it says in 2 Kings 25. Thus says the Lord, the God of David your father, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears, surely I will heal you. Let me tell you, when you do drugs, you get weaker. You know, in, in the beginning when I did drugs, I felt stronger, you know. But that feeling, that feeling is false and that just uh, stick for a while. Because after a while you get so broken from, from those pills and this addiction. So, so you get weaker and weaker. You, you will be broken hearted. But Jesus can heal you. He wants you to come to him. God is calling you to come out from the darkness, from, those ad, from this addiction. He wants you to come into his marvelous light. He's waiting for you. And uh, in Isaiah 41, 13, it says, For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. God will always stand beside you. He will help you. 
it's it's like this you will still get uh, uh, tempted when you follow jesus that will not disappear satan is like a roaring lion and he he's seeking for after who uh, he can devour so he will he will tempt you when he he know the best chance to tempt you is he will tempt you so temptation will always come but like it says in 1 Corinthians 10 30 no temptation is harder than what you can handle and God will always provide an escape for you when you get tempted and in Philippians 4 13 it says that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength so nothing is impossible I know myself I have stopped with addiction praise God he helped me I am free and in Romans chapter 8 verse 5 to 11 it says for those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh but those who live according to the spirit the things of the spirit for to be carnal minded is death but to be spiritual minded is life and peace if you live in addiction you are carnal minded because the carnal mind is enmity against God for it is not subject to the law of God nor indeed can be so then those who are in the flesh cannot please God but you are not in the flesh but in the spirit if you give your life to Jesus you will uh, get the Holy Spirit as a gift and you will start walking in the spirit if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ he is not his and if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. God raised Jesus from the dead on the third day. He can do everything. He has made everything. He can do everything. No demons is stronger than what, Je what Jesus can uh, take away. So if you live in hard addiction to breakthrough, Jesus can take away, Jesus can get rid of the demons for you. He can set you free. And like he says in Romans 8, 13, if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if you live after the spirit, you will live. In Matthew 19, 26, Jesus said, this is impossible for men, but for God, everything is, is possible. So in, nothing is impossible for God. He can set you free from your addiction. So go to Jesus Christ. Ask him to set you free and he will surely help you. He has a plan for you. Like it says in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the thoughts that I, I think toward you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Jesus has a plan for you. Go to him. No problem is bigger than what Jesus can handle. God bless you.